Hey everybody, it's Mike. I'm going to tell you all about the Apocrypha Adventure card game and how the game works. Now, it's a deep game, so you're going to see a lot of detail going on here. We've broken it up into a whole bunch of little videos, and uh, if something doesn't make sense now, it'll be explained later on. But we're just going to show you the basics right here. Let me tell you about what the story of Apocrypha is. You are a whole bunch of extraordinary people who are trying to stop the apocalypse. There's monsters coming out of the shadows. Nobody believes you when you say they exist. Doesn't matter, you're still going to do everything you can to try to stop it from happening. In this game, uh, what, I'm going to show you some of the cards, and then you can uh, see where we're going from here. So take a look. Here's a whole bunch of cards on the end. In Apocrypha, each player will get a character. A character is a somewhat troubled individual that has to deal with all the craziness that's happening in the world. And as you can see, they have a certain set of skills. They're around the edge of the card, and they give them the amount of dice they roll, the amount of cards they have, and all the powers that they have to go along with it. Along the way, you'll pick up repressed memories in the form of memory fragments. These can be placed around your character card to indicate that you have greater powers, but they often come with negative consequences. So a character that starts out might be very stable, a character that's adventured quite a bit might be more powerful, but might be a little more unstable. Your characters are going to go on a series of missions, which are organized into chapters. Each chapter is built around a type of monster, like undead or golems. Each mission will also have a number of nexuses, which are locations where things might hide in the darkness. On each mission, your goal is to track down a master who is behind the badness that is going on in the world. He or she will bring with him some large group of minions and monsters to make your life just that more difficult. You'll certainly also have the opportunity to pick up new gifts along the way, things that will help you in tracking down these monsters and defeating them. You have a limited amount of time to defeat the master. An omen deck is ticking down. It'll give you the ability to investigate your nexuses, but always with a price. Those are the basics, but there's a lot more here to come. Keep watching this space for more gameplay videos, and you'll meet some of the people along the way who've made this game great. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoy Apocrypha.